Hello, everyone. In this video, we will introduce some different sources of multispectral remotely sensing imagery. Before the lab, please go to the Blackboard and download the images for this lab. We totally have five images, respectively from Landsat, Spot, and Iconos. Before the lab, let's brief review the what we have learned from the lecture. First, we have known that Landsat 4 satellite is launched in 1982. It has the MSS multispectral scanner with four bands, green, red, and two near-infrared. Landsat 7 satellite is launched in 1999 with the Enhanced Somatic Mapper Plus with seven bands, blue, green, red, near-infrared, mid-infrared, thermo-infrared, mid-infrared, and panchromatic. Please pay attention that the seventh band is a panchromatic band. SPOT-3 satellite is launched in 1993 and stopped functioning in 1996. Each spot satellite carries two HRV high-resolution visible sensors and constructed with multilinear array detectors. So it's also known as along-track scanners. There are two modes of spot 3 images, panchromatic images and multispectral images. Panchromatic images is a single spectral band corresponding to the visible part of the EM spectral without the blue band. The spectral range is from 0.51 to 0.73. And the multispectral mode has three spectral bands, green, red, and near-infrared. Iconos is a high-resolution satellite developed by Space Imaging, launched in 1999. It has two modes. The panchromatic band has the spectral range from 0.45 to 0.9. And the multispectral band has blue, green, red, and near-infrared four bands. And now, let's go to the Erdos and open the five images separately. For example, now in the screen, I open the Iconos image, image. And please go to the lab instruction and answer the following questions. Please provide the band information including spectral ranges and the spatial resolution. Also, please tell the size of the image in both pixels and the ground coverage. Please give a description of which features are highlighted in the image and consider what you know about the spectral responses. And compare the advantages and the disadvantages of imagery from this sensor. Additionally, please compare the different sensors and tell me which would be more useful for, you, uh, for virus intents. I will give you some hints. To know the information about the image, we usually go to the Home tag and click Metadata. And here, a window with the data of the image pop up. Remember, if you want to know the information for each layer, please choose the layer number on the top of the image metadata window. Or if you want to know the pixel value, please go to the home tag and click measure. And here, a measure window will pop up. And for example, if I want to know the width and the height of a pixel, zoom in the pixel and on the top, choose polyline and click and left click the starting point and double click the 
ending point. At the bottom, you will have the length of the pixel. Okay, that's it. Uh, that's all about today's lab, and good luck. Also, feel free to email me if you have any question. Thank you.